If you are wondering how to make laser tattoo removal less painful, then you're in the right place. I have seven tips that work for me and hopefully they could all work for you. So let's get started. Tip number one. Use an over-the-counter numbing cream called Lidocaine and it works like a charm. I go to San Diego Laser Tattoo Removal and they provide the cream at no additional cost as long as you show up early to your appointment. It's recommended that you apply a moderate amount of lidocaine on top of the tattooed area. After applying the numbing cream, place saran wrap on top of the tattooed area. This helps the cream from drying out and it also helps not make a mess. The directions state to wait for 30 minutes and let the medicine do its thing. After 30 minutes, clean off the area, then wipe it off with alcohol swabs. I'm explaining the process because a lot of clinics do not offer the service for free. So it might be cheaper to do this at home before you go to your appointment. Check your laser tattoo removal shop before buying the cream. An affiliate link to the cream is in the description box below. I feel that the cream takes away 50% of the pain and it makes the laser tattoo removal process more bearable. It definitely takes the edge off and it makes you more relaxed during your session. If you're nervous about the laser tattoo removal, do not skip this step. If the clinic does not provide the cream and if you don't want to purchase the cream, it's okay. That brings me to tip number two. Ice the tattoo area with a bag of ice or an ice pack. Do not place the bag or ice pack directly on your skin. Use a cloth or towel in between the ice pack and skin. This way your skin doesn't get red or irritated. Ice the area 15 minutes before your laser tattoo removal process. This will numb the area and make the treatment less painful. The downside of icing the area opposed to the cream is that the numbness only lasts a short period of time. The ice method is better used for smaller size tattoos. Tip number three, shave the area of where the tattoo is located. And this is actually a three parter. When the laser hits the hair, it makes a loud popping sound. This sound in turn makes you think that the laser hurts more than it actually does due to the noise. The second part of shaving is so that the treatment area doesn't smell like burnt hair unless you're into that kind of thing. The technician will be happier to help you out if there is no hair on the tattoo area. Third parter to shaving is so there's not a small fireball on your skin because it literally, literally burns the hair and the skin. And this part does hurt. So I try to be sneaky and not shave on purpose so I can show you guys how it actually looks when the laser zaps the hair, but the technician caught on to me and he pretty much took out a razor and shaved my chest. But luckily for you, he didn't shave all the hairs off. You are hairy like animal. So this is what it looks like when the hair gets zapped by the laser. So that's what it looks like and sounds like when you don't shave. Unfortunately, you can't smell what the burnt hair smell like through the video. Tip number four. Use stress balls during your laser tattoo removal process. They provide stress balls at the location I go to, but if they don't, feel free to bring stress balls to your next session. The stress balls are more of a distraction and it just helps you get your mind off of being zapped and I use them every time. If you're focused on squeezing the stress balls, you are less focused on the pain and if you still feel the pain, at least you could take it out on the stress balls. If this doesn't work for you, then take headphones, that way you can listen to music during your treatment. I sometimes try to think about my next travel destination, but do what works for you. Tip number five. So the technical term is dynamic cooling device, and it's a machine that constantly shoots out cold air during treatment. 
the cold air or the cryogen it's freaking freezing comes out of the flexible tube and it's held right next to the area that's getting treated and the area that will soon be treated this numbs the area due to the freezing cold air that's coming out of the tube thus making the treatment less painful this air is so cold that it gives me the chills every time depending on the clinic it's either they have the machine or they don't it's not like you could take the machine to the clinic so keep this in mind before you make a consultation and see if they have the machine available at your clinic. Tip number six. Most people are worried about the pain of the laser, but not a lot of people think how it feels after the treatment. If you know what a bad sunburn feels like, then you know what it feels like after a removal procedure. And this sunburn feeling could last up to three days. Aloe vera is a great healing remedy and it feels awesome on your skin, especially if the aloe vera gel has been in the refrigerator all day. I like to apply a thick layer of aloe vera when I come home and remove the bandages. And I do this a couple times a day for the first 72 hours after the laser removal process. And a quick tip within a tip, Kind of like a dream within a dream. What, no clip? Is to make sure that you're not taking an extremely hot shower because the treatment area is sensitive to heat. And make sure you pat dry the area with a towel after showering and not regularly dry the area. And you will find out why if you regularly dry the area. After 72 hours, I start using Tip number seven on the laser tattoo removal area. Tip number seven, apply as much unscented lotion to the area as needed for the next seven days. The treatment area gets super dry and itchy. It's important to use lotion, that way you're not scratching the area because if you scratch the area, this will lead to scarring and markings. And the last thing you want when removing a tattoo is either one. I personally use cocoa butter because I find it leaves my skin nice and moisturized for a longer period of time opposed to regular lotion. It's recommended to use unscented lotion because your skin might be allergic to something in scented lotion like perfume. I hope you found this video helpful and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments, please comment box below and if you have tried any of these or you're gonna try these things let me know on a scale from 1 to 10 on how they work for you don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one